In this video, we'll learn how we can count number of times a number or a text appear in Excel. Now, here is an example. Let's say I have a number of ratings from 0 or from, from 1 to 5. Uh, and then I would like to count how many times, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 appear in the, the rating stars. And so the way in which you do this is use a count if function. And so here is my range, as you can see. And then uh, here I would like to count how many times, let's say, 1 star, 2 star, 3, 4, or 5 appear, right? So I can do equals to and then press count if function. Uh, if you press tab key, it actually extends and it will show you what does it require. So the first thing it requires is range. So this is our range. So I'm going to select our range of all the ratings. Okay. And then the next thing, so comma, the next one is the criteria. So we would like to count how many times one start up here. So all I have to do is just press a number. So number one, and then and bracket, and then press enter. So it appeared three times, uh, like one, two and three right and then same thing actually for the other two so I can do equals to count if again I select my range now I can I can uh, just apply all the range at, at one single uh, click but here was what I'm going to do is two and then I'm going to copy this okay and then just simply add three let's say four and five Right, and so yeah, Excel shows that these formulas are a little different. That's why you see this. You can also actually, instead of this, I could have actually done something like this. So I'll I'll move, and I just create one, two, three, four, and five, and then I'm going to say equals to count if, and then I'll select a range again. Right, and press comma, and then this number. Right, and then and code and then I can extend the formula like this right and then I can just simply hide this column so this is also a different way to to do this now this should also work with the text so so far we just look at the numbers but if you go to text let's say I have number of uh, fruit names and I just want to calculate how many of each fruit counts up here right so I have already done that but let's try it so I'm going to now, in this case, what we can also do is, uh, in the case of ratings, we know our rating should only have one, two, three, four, and five. But in this case, we may have you know number of fruits, and we don't know how many t how many different type of fruit it is. And so you can even type these fruit names, or you can use a unique function, which will cal which will count or not count, but which will give you the the list of fruits uh, with a unique item. And so equals to unique. And then let's select a range and then and and bracket and you can see it just gave me a unique list of fruits and now i can use our count if uh, formula so equals to count if press tab and then this is a range and then this is uh, the fruit that we want to count the number of and then and bracket and then i can just extend this and now i have the number of counts for each of these fruits from this list and so this is how you use uh, to count how many times a particular value or a text appears in microsoft excel using count of formula so we looked at numbers and text as well so i hope you like this video if you did click on the like button and check out my other videos on excel thank you